Okay, <clears throat> excuse me, what's up guys? So today, it's not gonna be a workout video or anything like that. It's gonna be a little rant. It's not gonna be a little rant, it's gonna be a very big rant. Now, I'm gonna show you a video, or now in a second, now in a minute, of probably the worst thing I've watched as far as showing you how bad and how easy it is to have a heart attack at 32, basically developing diabetes at a very young age, and who's to blame for? Now I just wanna tell you to watch the video, it's only like a minute and a half to two minutes long. Okay, now watch it now. All right, what do we got? Just came in, heart attack. 5'9", 300 pounds, 32 years old. How the hell does that happen? <laughs> Can I get a, uh... Could be developing diabetes. You have to make a change. <clears throat> oh, yeah. You're graduating! <laughs> Watch TV, you wouldn't have to leave. You can't do this. Yes, can I get a I don't know how deep this? You have to make a change. Good job, Jim. You got an A plus. I can't believe you give this child such a risk. I know, but it's the only thing that'll make him stop. Okay, you watch it. Now, what's your verdict? My verdict is there's a few things and a few people to blame for this. Now, you see, it starts off with a man getting brought into an emergency room, doctor saying he's 32, heart attack, 300 pounds. How does that happen? And then it basically rewinds through his life until he's basically a baby or maybe one or two so it goes from not being able to play with your kids uh you pushes his uh, son or daughter on the swing out of breath then he's sitting on the couch eating food then it goes back and he's playing his xbox and then he's sitting there eating cake and he's doing good in school but he gets rewarded with candy or sweets and he's passing through which is good for him to another person so he can eat his, his bad lunch and then he's eating cake and then a doctor says you're gonna have to change because you have you're developing type 2 diabetes anybody that doesn't know anything about diabetes basically type 1 is you're born with it it's hereditary your mother or father or your great granddad or whatever it someone had it in your family so you're gonna develop it Type 2 is you develop it yourself. It's your fault. Now, then it goes back. And then his mother gets brought into it. And uh, a doctor tells her, something's going to have to change now. Then it goes back. And he's basically hiding sweets in his, in his room inside of his wardrobe or his drawers or whatever. Then he's trying to play in skill and he's out of breath then the worst part of it is there's only one person to blame it's mother and father from an early age you see him he's drinking fizzy drinks which are 100 percent sugar at a very young age when he's sitting in his uh, baby seat and then he doesn't want to eat 
his fruits are vegetables so he throws a tantrum and his mother feeds him chips from like McDonald's and his and her friend says I can't believe you still feed your child French fries and she said it's the only way to shut him up first things first that mother is a bad parent and all fairness the the father of the son saying this has to stop it's disgraceful all this but yeah the child still does it then it basically shows you how easy it is to get overweight get unfit child clearly doesn't want to do anything about his life does good in school graduates probably goes on to college but yeah he has a heart attack at 32 developed type 2 diabetes when he was a teenager yeah you're doing good in school but what is having all that then probably dying when you're 32 okay when the doctor says things have to change that means things have to change when a doctor says you're gonna be in um developing type 2 diabetes when you're 16 and 17 things have to change if a doctor told me now okay you're on the verge of having a heart attack um your arteries are clogging i'd stop whatever he tells me to stop if a doctor tells me to stop doing some beds because i'm going to develop skin cancer i'm not going to go i want to be tan i'm going to keep doing some beds get what i'm saying so that video should be a very big message and it should be going around everywhere i first seen on facebook so guys leave up to yourselves there's only one person to blame that's the parents Stop feeding your child shy. Start feeding them fruits and vegetables. I understand when you go to birthday parties that's going to be cake and stuff like that. Every so often won't hurt them. But feeding your child that breeding two years of age or one year of age fucking McDonald's, KFC, Burger King, I don't know, the ice cream man every day. It's your fault when they become uh, diabetic at the age of 15, 16, 17, 18, your fault. When they can't even play sports for 10 minutes because they're out of breath, that's your fault. If you're ordering takeaway every day to feed them, your fault, you're lazy. Guys, I want you to share this video. Okay, guys, like, comment, and subscribe. Leave in the comment section below what you think of the video. Is it the mother's fault? Is it the mother's fault? Was the father better than trying to control his child's eating? Was it the child grown up? His own fault, guys. Leave it in the comment section below. Share this video. Share that video. Like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks.